Right, welcome to this Tactica video. Uh, it's for Drakari. It's been a long, long time since we've seen them on the channel. Uh, a lot of people uh, have been requesting these to make a return again for a long time, so it'd be good to see them back. Uh, they've been shelved for a while. Played, I've played some 8th edition games of them, sort of here and there. Uh, but what's held me back is sort of uh, big sort of changes and adaptions needed uh, with the army. So I have those new units. A uh, brand new list has been proposed on the Plus channel. Pretty happy with it. And sort of planning to develop it a bit more, um, but just with sort of a quite a stack of new models to paint up, we sort of push these into the background a bit. But uh, it's still uh, a very, very good army uh, to collect. Really enjoy collecting the Drakari, and uh, look forward to seeing them in action again with the new units and to rebalance and sort out the whole list. I think they should do quite well. So they are quite a high performing uh, army currently. Uh, in 40k which is good to see so amazing models in this episode uh, we're going to take a look at the incubi or incubi it depends on how you pronounce it like i call them incubi uh, is my <laughs> pronunciation which could be wrong uh, but i've got a unit of 10 so in this episode uh, we'll zoom in in a moment take a look at the models and, and then uh, we'll take a look at the rules for them uh, units combinations unit size tactics and so on uh, so uh, we'll cover that in this video. So I have uh, 10 of these. Always love the models, they really are good. And the ones that I have here, I bought these when uh, Games Workshop was still producing them in, in lead or in metal. Uh, so I would heartily recommend, if you can, try and track them down at metal. So you can try places like eBay, for example. You may well be able to pick some up. But if not, you'll get them in uh, fine cast now. So they're quite a unique unit, they look quite different to any of the other units that the Dark Elder have. But I've, I've always viewed them as quite a potent uh, unit for sure. The combination I go for is a unit of five, two units of five in my current list. Uh, but we'll cover tactics for those as we get into the video. I'm going to zoom in now and you can take a closer look at these models. So there you are. That's how they've turned out. Like so, I've used them in many a game. Uh, so for the painting colour scheme, I do have a painting tutorial for the Dark Elder on YouTube here. Uh, so I use that exact same technique to paint these up. So this whole uh, effect that you see on the armour. I wanted to go for sort of an alien off-world sort of armoured look. Didn't want to go for straight silver, so just selected a couple of inks. Uh, and then uh, it was uh, green and blue mixed together and it's created this shimmering effect here and then highlights it again with silver afterwards but I cover all of that uh, in the uh, painting tutorial you can see the neon sort of green I've got going on there as well and this nice sort of bronzy color uh, work in there as well so uh, just I think the color scheme works out pretty good happy enough with that the whole theme behind the army is sort of a necron hunting army they hunt necrons and tomb worlds and so on and they, they raid all the treasures and artifacts from them so uh, there's a kind of necron feel to them here with the silver going on and the neon green it sort of matches in with the necrons I currently have and they sort of hunt them down with necro toxins uh, that kind of uh, approach for them when they fight so that's how they've been specialized that's sort of the fluff behind uh, this uh, collection that I have but I've seen others use this color scheme and they've changed the inks around so the same process but they swapped it out for purple or reds different colored inks uh, to get the same kind of effect but uh, different colors being used in shades so you can adapt it however you wish and there's one of them and there's a number of similar poses this one's a different pose just here but they are quite unique compared to other Drakari units so that one's the clavex you can tell by the the mask I'll show you a few more They're quite impressive, heavily armoured, decent, very, very good in close combat, nasty enough. So I, I rate them, I think they're okay. Uh, but we'll take a look at the rules now uh, for these. There is an in-depth painting tutorial, by the way, it's over on the Plus channel. I'll show you how to paint one of the vehicles, much, much more tougher task. And so I've put together more of an in-depth tutorial um, in that video, and that's available on uh, the Plus channel. If you don't want to subscribe to the entire channel, uh, 
then I have made all of the painting tutorials available for purchase. So uh, it's just a nominal amount and it means you get access just to that one video if that's uh, what you need. So I'll just move these out of the way. Might do a little bit of combat simulation with them just to illustrate how they can be used. So I'll cover the my intention of using them and how I plan to use them. But by all means, check out the comment section below. I'm, I'm interested as well to see what others have to say. You're always trying to find out the better ways of using units that you have. I'll talk about how I use mine and then check out the comment section, see what other people have said and experienced Drakari players, uh, whether they use these or not, and then how, what size, tactic are for them and so on. Uh, but they are an elite's choice. Yep. So, Incubi or Incubi, power level four. You get a squad of five. You get one Clavex and four Incubi in the squad. And you can take another five. So you can go up to unit 10. You can create a unit this kind of size, uh, or any between, anywhere between five and 10. I go for 15 units of five. And sort of, I'll cover tactic as I go along. So the reason why I've gone for two units of five is uh, from previous games that I've played just down through the different editions and so on. When I used to have these in a the big unit of 10, and it was quite a scary unit, uh, the opponent would then prioritize them a lot more and make sure they would put more efforts into destroying them. So now I split them into two units of five, just a bit more tactical, tactical flexibility. If I need to send them off in separate directions, I can. Or uh, if I need them to, to gang up on a unit, then they can do that as well. So they can still be as effective as a unit of 10. The other bonus is that you get the Clavex, you get a second Clavex in the squad uh, with the extra wound, the extra attack, and you're not paying any extra points for that. So uh, from that angle is where you're getting a bit more value when you split them into two units of five. You can go for higher size, you go for, two units, you go for unit six, unit seven, unit of eight maybe, uh, but five seems okay as long as you don't expect too much from them. So we'll cover the stats for them here. Now, uh, points wise, I don't think this was adjusted for chapter approved. No, there's, there's been no adjustment here for the Drakari uh, because they were one of the later codexes. So, uh, Ink could buy 16 points each to start off with. So, more expensive than a Space Marine, but they're, they're pretty well equipped. Uh, and they're armed with a clave. Which is zero. Just straight 16 points. Unit 10, 160 points. Which I think is pretty good value. It is uh, good value. Uh, and that's it. There's no other options to give them. So they get power from pain. We'll cover that in just a moment. Uh, and then we'll cover the clave. It's movement 7. So they're, they're quick enough. Not the fastest of uh, Aldari units that are out there. But seven's fast enough. Weapon skill 3 plus. Ballistic skill 3 plus. Strength 3. Toughness 3. 1 wound. Three attacks, so for a baseline of attacks for regular Incubi, uh, three attacks is superb. Leadership eight and three plus save, they've got a heavier armor that can help keep them alive. And then the Clavex here, uh, need to remember it's two plus for the weapon skill, very useful. Uh, and then you get an extra wound, extra attacks, four attacks, and then leadership nine as well. So yeah, these guys are cut out for close combat, really are good. So, lethal precision, add two to the damage characteristic of a close combat attack made by Clavex if the wound roll is a six plus. So, uh, just a bit of extra damage there. Easy to forget that one, but a little bit of a bonus. You get Tormentors as well, another roll that's easy to forget. Each time your opponent takes a morale test for a unit within six of any enemy Incubi units, and the result of the morale test equals the highest leadership characteristic in the unit, the test is failed and one model flees. So, just a that's a minor rule, really, not really much of a, a bonus. And the clave itself is plus one strength, so now you get to fight strength four all the time, which is useful enough. It's AP minus three, that's the nasty bit, and it's one damage. So, you know, these are marine killers, these units here. Uh, they'll gladly hack their way through space marines, no problem at all. But, I'm not going to expect too much from my unit of five. Um, I'm not expecting them to wipe out a whole tactical squad, and it's a bit too much for them because their strength's not that amazing. It's strength four with the clave, so you know you get a whole load of hits, but then a half of them or less are not going to wound, you know, and they don't turn out to be too effective. So, um, if you are wanting to delete whole units in a turn, you're probably going to want to go for units of ten 
uh, just to get those 31 attacks coming through. Um, or I've split mine up, I can gang up if I need to, or I've sort of made these into units that are there to follow up on perhaps later turns. Turn three onwards is a good time for them, and it's to, to join in other combats, or to pick off isolated units, or to mop up damaged units and just take them out. That's the kind of approach I'm going for with these. Um, sort of mopping up duty, execution sort of style approach with them. So you know, it's 80 points for a unit of five. You know, if they're lost, it's not too big a deal. Uh, you know, they can draw a lot of attention from the opponent. The opponent knows they're pretty well equipped. So, um, what I cover here is turn three, the importance of that. Because these are subject to power from pain. So on turn one, they're going to be ignoring damage on a six plus. So it helps a little bit, but not much. Uh, then turn two, uh, you can re-roll the dice to determine how far you know, this bonus moves when it char advances or charges. So you're re-rolling your charges turn two. That's okay. Uh, but turn three is the good time to get involved with those because you're getting your re-roll charges, you're ignoring damage on sixes, and then it's plus one to hit rolls. And you're really going to maximise the efficiency of that unit when you're on your twos to hit, you know, uh, 15, 16 attacks, a smaller unit, 16 attacks, a twos to hit is exceptionally reliable. So that is, that is sort of the best time to charge in with them. And you're on auto pass round tests, not particularly relevant for them, very small unit anyway. Uh, and then minus one to lose, you can say, not that great, but that turn three, that's the point there where you want to try and make contact uh, with these. That's what I'm thinking, turn three onwards. Um, so you can imagine uh, the Drakari, turn one, the army maneuvers, turn two, a lot of the armies tried to make contact and get in very close, and then turn three, sort of the mopping up action starts happening with them. And that's just the right timing for them. So that's my kind of approach, I think, with them. Can't really go into cabals and cut witch cults and so on because they don't have it. So they're kind of, limited in that regard and they're also limited I think the overlord yeah reroll hit rolls of one for cardboard units within six of the model and then other cardboard so they can't even get the reroll ones from an archon so sort of on their own in a way uh, really they're only able to benefit from the power from pain ability um, and so on. I reckon turn three onwards sort of the best option for them they do have uh, access to a stratagem here onslaught Use the strategy before an be unit from your army fights in the fight phase. To the end of the phase, each time you roll an unmodified hit roll of a six plus. Hit roll of a six for this weapon. Sorry, it's not a six plus. If you get this right here, it's just a six. So you can't start stacking this up to make this pop with bonuses here. It's just any sixes. Uh, you get two hits instead of one. So, again, that's more suited to a larger unit. You've got a unit of ten. 31 attacks, you know, you're going to roll five, six, sixes when you charge in. You're going to generate a few extra uh, attacks from that. Scores two hits, yeah, so you automatically generate an extra hit there. You roll that six. As to how useful that is for a smaller unit. You know, you might roll up 16 dice and get no sixes or just one. And is it worth one command point to do that? So that one's like, Onslaught's okay. It's maybe more suited to a larger unit, even a unit of eight or something that kind of size would be better for that. So that's the rules for them. It's two units of five. And then the way I run these at the moment is like a, I can use them as a bodyguard type unit. So I take, I, I can't benefit from the Archon's real ones, but take an Archon, and he's got like a pretty decent bodyguard uh, to hang around with. So it'll amplify, he'll amplify their close combat attacks, uh, with, you know, with him fighting, uh, and they'll am amplify his. If he charges into something and then they join in, just adds a bit more potency to it. So I think it's quite a good combo. Uh, and then they can offer a bit of protection to him. You know, that character can hide behind, and they can act uh, as a bit of a bodyguard. Uh, for that HQ choice. So that's the kind of approach there as well. As far as moving them around, a small unit of five 
can fit easily into Raider and then there's there's room for another unit five or a host of different characters to mix in with them also so it's quite flexible I, I think I'm going to run them at the moment in uh, Venoms here just so I don't want them getting isolated on the battlefield they start starting to run around to get to places I need them to move quickly uh, so a little Venom is useful enough and it sort of fits this turn three approach that I'm thinking of. So, for example, add the rest of the army's going right up the board and then following up behind there's these couple of Venoms, which on turn one, turn two, they're letting loose of their firepower. A decent bit of uh, firepower support coming in as this thing moves up. The ink could be inside. Uh, it's minus one to hit it as well. Uh, transport capacity is five, um, so they can uh, fit in there. No problem. And then when they need to disembark, then they can. Uh, it's sort of a way of protecting them. Don't, because this is, especially my units here have been small. I don't want models being picked off. You know, lose two models all of a sudden, there's not many attacks coming through. So I need them to strike and charge in at that strength, if at all possible. And the Venom is fast. It's a 16 inch move here, plus an advance if you need to. So it's uh, fast enough. No, it's pretty good. So, but again, I would, uh, would, would emphasise, don't expect too much from them. I'm not going to charge them into a whole tactical squad. Uh, we'll try it in a moment here, but I'm not going to charge them in expecting them to, to overwhelm whole units. They're just there to sort of, I mean, even to execute or to pick out characters as well. Wouldn't mind charging them into something like a primary lieutenant. I think they do pretty well against that kind of target. Uh, but with knowing Von Safe, we'll be a bit careful with them. They can get hacked down uh, quite easily. But we'll line them up now against uh, some space marines. This is going to be their speciality. Now, remember with the Venom, if they're inside the Venom, I'll, sh I'll, I'll line these marines up here because you'll see how quick they can be coming from the transport. Put the marines up here. So we're just charging to hold tactical squad. We'll see how they fare against them, just from my Imperial Fists, like so, there's a tactical squad, and we'll just move these out of the way, so the Venom's here, so this is some distance, this distance here, so at uh, 18, 18, 17 inches from the hull of the vehicle, so that is on the ball, that's a, a pretty good distance away. But you're going seven, and then you're disembarking three from the edge of the hull. And so, you know, with that vehicle stationary, you're then getting to, to here. Pretty good range being covered here. That'll then leave you needing a, a say a seven inch charge just about seven inch charge will get them into close combat so no 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 let's have a look here no that's within seven that's a six inch charge will get them into close combat now if we're on turn three this is when it's the timing sort of right for them i want re-roll for charges and that's going to be very useful if i'm going to try and cover this distance here but we'll just fight them as they are stand let's say it's turn one um, so we'll do overwatch here, a bit of trouble <laughs> for them potentially. Uh, the other great thing is even for overwatch, if this guy is nearby, you charge him first with his 2 plus invun save to tank any kind of damage coming through, so possibly. So that's a, another option. But uh, fire the laser cannon here. Uh, plasma gun, rapid fire, not going to charge, supercharge, and then uh, a pistol. No, a... Crack grenade. Nope, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Just 12 shots. They've got off lightly here because we really don't want to lose any models. They've been hit by some bolter fire. And they've been wounded. Top is three, it's a bit of a problem. Three up saves, and we've fouled two. Six is to ignore. No, nope. alright, so we've lost two from Overwatch. Perhaps highlighting a problem here for them. 
So you can go for units of I don't know, six or seven, just to anticipate some damage coming through. So you want to sort of keep a, a, a core kind of size. We'll repeat this over, but I'm not going to change this. We'll, we'll let it sit. We'll charge in. Six, we needed six we got. And that's that was command re-rollable there, but um, they make it in. So uh, we'll make our attacks in. Uh, Clavex, two's to hit. And then six attacks coming from the two that remain. And this is just we're playing on normal uh, turn one here. Force to end. And six is to save. None. All right, so they've hacked down three marines. So you see what I mean? I'm not going to expect too much from them. They're okay. Uh, they're fighting back here, what's left. Uh, you've got the sergeant and the chainsword. Uh, and they're one, two, three, four, five, six. Threes, threes to wound, three up, so it's, oof, held on, okay. So we'll go on to the next round here, that would be the Space Marine turn, they can fight, so six Marines and the Sergeant. Threes to wound, three up saves, just the Clavex down here, left, just the Clavex left, fighting on. Uh, two, uh, two, so two wounds come through, I'm going to do these saves here, save one, another marine brought down, and then that six is to keep those two alive uh, from earlier on, ignoring damage, that one comes back and can fight, hits, and two wounds, and one save, double one brought down. So, small squad there, I've designed that smaller squad for picking off uh, more we cut units, that's a full tactical squad there that stood up for itself pretty good, but they have cut down half the squad and tied them up. So, yeah, whilst they're fighting away, you know, an Archon getting stuck in there uh, would, really, would really tip the scales there. Remember, this is only an 80 point unit, so you can't expect too much from an 80 point unit taking on a unit here that's uh, virtually a double the points cost. So, just trying all different combinations, maybe shows you that a unit of five as I said earlier on, don't expect too much from them because this kind of situation start getting cut down and only left as a small unit in size. So we'll now go for uh, charging in, but now it's turn three. <clears throat> so let's say the charge goes ahead. Let's do a bit of overwatch here. Crack grenade hits and wounds and save that on a six. Uh, a last cannon misses. Plasma gun, misses, and then six guys with bolt guns, and sixes, just the one, and wound, and passed. Right, now we've struck in with five, so we're on uh, Clavex, and then three, 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 and three. Now the unit's a bit more potent, for sure. Clavex on twos. I'm not doing lethal precision because they're all one wing models anyway. And then two's the rest of the unit. Shame you can't get any of your own ones, but anyway, that's the hits that have come through. Uh, fours. <laughs> that's ridiculous. And then sixes for saves. None. And that's almost, almost a wipeout there. So you see that two's to hit. You've cut down the entire squad apart from the sergeant. I mean, that's horrific. Terrifying. So, really good. We'll have another go. I think that was a bit of a a good round there, so Clavex, there, three, 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 but um, pretty good here. They're all on twos tips, so I'm just going to roll them all, just turn three, so we'll take away a few ones, again, shame you can't get any kind of reroll ones. Uh, force wounds, sixes, there's one, hack down four, not bad. Um, <clears throat> we'll try again with the stratagem this time. Any sixes you roll to hit, it's going to generate two hits instead of one from a small unit. We'll see if it makes a difference. So we'll fight again. Just sort of showing you how it can start to tip in favour here. So there's none. I did say that could happen. I'll have another go. There's two. I mean, that's what you can expect. One or two or none. 
kind of extra hit sets. So two hits there generates an extra two. So you're looking at a couple extra. So is it worth one command point? I really think so, unless you've got a bigger kind of unit. Okay, so then we'll go your squad of 10. 160 points. Now points for points, these, these two squads here sort of match each other quite well. Uh, we'll let the Marines do Overwatch. Got to give them some kind of chance here. Crack grenade hits and it wounds. That was saved and a four that armor holding quite well. Laz cannon, rapid fire, plasma, uh, and then 12 shots. Lean sixes, lean threes, lean threes. Foul one. All right, so one could be removed. Shoot your Clavex. And then uh, you're over 27 attacks. No, it's 24 attacks. Because it's the Clavex and eight others. So 24. Uh, and we'll do the Clavex in just a moment. So we'll take these misses. Say we're hitting on three, or say, well it's turn three, let's say it is turn three. Um, so in which case we'll just add the Clavex in. That will hit. Now they're a scary unit. Balls for wounds. And by the time you get all these kind of hits coming through, it starts to average it out. A lot of failed. But it's gonna be enough to blow the squad away. Yeah, wipe out, okay. So you got the wipe out there. So the only danger is your opponent's going to know they're potent enough and so they'll take steps to try and uh, destroy their transport. You know, if they're in a raider, they're not going to be too well protected. Um, so I split mine up into two smaller units. I stick them in Venoms. And if they do need to gang up, say there is a tactical squad to wipe out, then I can send the two squads in, no problem. Or if they need to go their separate ways and uh, head out in different directions, different missions and so on, then they can do that. Uh, just thought of something else, something else that's pretty big actually. Pro probably some people have written some comments on this as I've been filming, but it's this. You take this squad that's disembarked from the Venom, uh, you move the squad through, poised to charge, and then you send the Venom in to charge first, absorb overwatch, sort of a Harlequin technique, and then once that's made contact, then charge these in uh, there and then they can't get shot out of Overwatch. That's a major tactic, that one there. So another very, very important use uh, for the Venom. And if it's in combat, next turn it can pull out and still shoot because it's a fly. All right, so that's that's the tactic then uh, for the Incubi. So I go for smaller squads, more flexible. I put them inside Venoms. And, and then that vital rule there, charging the Venom in first. I think that the Harlequins do a lot and sort of tactic I have for those. And, and then you can charge these in. I think they're useful as a supporting unit. So there's a point somewhere on the battlefield you need a bit of close combat support, bit of trouble somewhere or difficult or units, but more difficult to bring down. Uh, then send these in uh, to cut their way through. But anything with a doesn't have an invon save, and anything that's armor three plus or worse, uh, these are pretty good. They'll hack their way through Astra Militarum and Tau Fire Warriors very very quickly. So. Uh, deadly enough, but they just need to, if we go for smaller units, just need to keep an eye on them. Uh, try not to let their numbers, uh, try not to let them be cut down with firepower. So watch out for Overwatch, uh, and then being picked off and isolated, and the opponent pick on them, picking on them, and then reducing the models down. So uh, they need to sort of be cradled a little bit and protected to try and make sure they're delivered at the full unit strength. There it is, that's the tactics. Check out the comment section below, see what other uh, Drakari players are saying. Uh, whether these are used or not, maybe the vibe is that Incubi are no good, or uh, there may well be some suggestions, different sort of play styles than what I've talked about here. But um, and by all means, if you are an experienced Drakari player, then leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. There it is, that's the uh, Tactica showcase video for the Incubi, for the Drakari. Keep a look out for more Tactica videos for this force and for the Drakari to make their return to both of the channels as well. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.